Hello, Tungsten Miner here. Today I'm going to talk about DecoCraft. DecoCraft is a mod which adds an incredible, incredible variety of decorative items to your game. It starts out by building this deco bench and then filling it up with clay and dye. So here's that deco bench. Uh, the recipe is just three different color dye with a crafting table and some clay. Ignore this red crafting clay, blue crafting clay, and green crafting clay. Um, this is from a prior version of the mod. It hasn't quite been phased out yet, but really you want to focus on this recipe. That will get you your deco bench. And then you need to take your clay and three red, green, blue dyes and uh, right click on the table. Now I've already filled this one up quite a bit with some red, green, and blue dye, but the way you do that is you take your clay and drop it in the corner and then click this button to add it to the stockpile. So you can see I've got quite a lot in there already. So I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of this dye. And you can see as I do that, this fills up with clay and these fill up with the various kinds of dye. Then I can look at all the items. Either I can look through the list just by scrolling, or if I knew that I wanted a certain thing, I could look for that. Or I can uh, turn on the tab filters and see just items related to art, bathroom, bedroom, dining, and so on, all the rest of the categories. When I find something I want to make, uh, I go ahead and just uh, grab that item by, say, clicking on it here, make a toaster, and then I'm going to grab it from here, and that makes the item. Now, if I choose something else, maybe uh, something a little bit bigger here, Oh, let's see, what would be an interesting thing? Yeah, try a pool table here. Um, if I hold down shift, you can see it's telling me how much of each of those resources this is going to consume. So 18 clay and six of each color dye. It doesn't actually consume that stuff until I take it off the table. So if I change my mind and say, I want, um, oh no, am I, I guess I'm wrong here. No, it's already consumed that stuff. Uh, yeah, so as soon as you click it, it consumes the stuff. Um, but that shows you how much it consumed. Now, if I decide I've made something that I don't want, say I don't want this toaster, I can drop it back here, and it's going to add all of those resources back into my pool of resources. Uh, so nothing is ever wasted, even if you make a mistake and decide you don't want something. All right, let's take these two things and talk about placement. DecoCraft has a pretty unique way of dealing with placing models. Usually you pick your block and then you can turn through eight different rotations around that spot. So as I'm moving around it's showing me where that that billiard table is going to wind up and when I want to place it I just right click like anything else and it places that item. Now of course I'm in creative so it didn't use up that item but normally in survival it would. Now, you can see I've got this big anchor as my next item to place down, and I'm getting it red sometimes and white sometimes. Red means that I'm trying to place it too close to some other item. It might be a deco craft item, it might be something else. But whatever it is, you can see that the shape for this is going to intersect with the shape for that billiard table. Now, if I turn and move it out here, I can place it over there just fine. It's not going to intersect with anything. But as I get close to this billiard table, it does. And if I turn, I can get it to not intersect. So if I turn this way, I've turned it just a little bit, and now it's intersecting with that table because it's twisted a little. But if I straighten it out, now it's not intersecting with that table. Uh, needless to say, DecoCraft has items both large and small. So let's get rid of these items, and let's say I wanted to reclaim the clay for both of those. Uh, I'm going to drop that in the clay and the dye. I'm going to drop that in there, get my dye and my clay back, same thing for that guy, get all that back. Okay, so now let's move on and talk about some of the various actual items we can make. As you noticed when I was flipping through the tabs, DecoCraft has different themes of items that it tries uh, to provide you. And it really is helpful when you're trying to make a certain kind of room to go through the tab for that room and see what all the different things are that are themed for that room. Now, not everything that's themed for one area is only useful in that area. So have a look around and try and get a sense of what all is in there before you uh, make up your mind what you want to do. So here, obviously, we're looking at a kitchen theme. 
I've got a pile of carrots and a cutting board, a knife block, some cheese, a stove top with a hood just above it. I've got a sink with a faucet facing inwards. And certain items are interactive. So if I right click on that sink, it's going to dribble a bit for a while until I right click it again. Uh, a food processor, some wine, a refrigerator, shelves, cabinets, and cabinets underneath. Now, most of the cabinets actually are inventories. The GUI choice is a little questionable, but hey, there it is. You get some extra space. Uh, and these work basically just like any kind of chest. Now, not everything is clickable. So here my oven is not, the sink is not, wine rack is not, the refrigerator is, the shelves are. So you kind of have to just try them out and see what you get. Around the side here, we've got a mop and a broom, some teacups and some plates and glasses. And around the back here, we've got a couple of barrels of food, some spice racks, sausages, ham, and pheasants. So that's your kitchen area. Here is a uh, living room, gentleman's den, party room, <laughs> whatever. Uh, a bare carpet. We've got uh, some fish in a fish tank, a little credenza, teeny little R2 and uh, Etch-a-Sketch, some cards, Rubik's Cube, jukebox, some chairs of various kinds. All of the chairs are actually things that you can sit in and then uh, hop out of. Paper airplane, sideboard, lava lamp, a TARDIS, shelves, lots of cool stuff. There are actually a couple of different kinds of chandeliers. This is actually the simplest of the three. There's a crystal chandelier and a gold chandelier besides. So there's your uh, man cave. Next up, maybe a nice little bedroom. Uh, so here we've got a, a cradle and a toy chest, some blocks, a wardrobe, which actually is a nice big inventory, a bed. This actually does work like a bed. It's, of course, daytime right now, so I can't sleep. But um, an important thing to note, this bed doesn't actually change the player's spawn location. It does let you sleep through the night, but it won't change your spawn location. So these are actually kind of helpful for when you want to set up uh, various places that you might spend the night without relocating yourself. But if you do need to relocate yourself, you're going to have to use a regular bed. Uh, some little dolls and toys and things. A little chest back here or safe. Uh, it's not actually safe. It's just an inventory. It looks like a safe, but that's all. Here we've got a dresser. Yeah, some of these inventories overlap your own inventory in funny ways, so it uh, is a little strange. If my screen were bigger, these wouldn't overlap so much. The GUI scale is uh, not conducive to working properly at the moment. A lamp. This actually does produce light, uh, so if it were dark, you'd be able to see that that glows. Perfume bottle, TV, and uh, that's it for our little bedroom. Here we have a bathroom scene, a uh, little hand towel, sink, faucet with running water, combs and brushes, soap, a shower and a shower head. So the shower head and the uh, shower handles are two separate items, but if the handles are directly below the shower head, the one will control the other. Just a little decoration there, some towels, a toilet with uh, its tank. In the United States, we don't have uh, toilets that look like this. Ours have a, a tank in the back there, but uh, from when I've visited the UK, this is a pretty common style over there. So little interesting uh, world traveler news. Cookies. They don't actually have a bathtub. Um, I was kind of hoping for a big claw-footed bathtub, but it's not one of the things that's in the mod right now. You do, however, get uh, a tub faucet and you can kind of make up your own tub. Uh, yeah, so that's the bathroom. Here we have maybe a laboratory scene. Uh, I've got a wooden desk with an office chair, a laptop computer, Newton's cradle, telescope, a doll, microscope, a sink. This pattern of sink is basically the second pattern. All of the um, cabinetry and stuff that you saw in the kitchen also comes in this darker pattern. So you can use this. I just happen to use this for the laboratory and the lighter one for the kitchen, but there's nothing uh, saying you can't do it the other way around. Chemistry sets, potion kits, world globes, chalkboard, a cuckoo clock, grandfather clock, uh, coat rack, sideboard, scales, urn, all your sciencey sorts of stuff. This actually is one of my favorite things in this mod, this great rope bridge. So it's actually made of a number of different segments. There's one segment for the anchor. 
there's another segment for the left and right sides of the bridges, and then another segment for the right anchor. So by using these in combination, you can put down your two anchors, and uh, the whole bridge is four meters wide. So these go on the outer of the two meters, and then the center two meters, you put down the bridge pieces. And since each bridge piece is one meter long, you put down as many as you need to come up with your full bridge. There's also this one meter wide bridge, which has just the one anchor segment and the one bridge segment. Next up, we have this Christmas scene. There's actually a ton of Christmas stuff in this mod, uh, from presents and a sleigh to a huge Christmas tree and a littler Christmas tree, snowmen, toys of various kinds, candy canes, garlands, and uh, was it snowflakes and mistletoe and Christmas bells, uh, snow globe, lots more presents. Uh, around the edge here, we've got some... Uh, garlands, and uh, Christmas lights all the way around. Uh, and there's a ton of stuff I didn't put in here. Just here's a sampling of the Christmas stuff from DecoCraft. Here's what you might have in a stockroom or a basement of some kind. Uh, stacks of ingots, uh, kegs, and whatnot. The beer keg has not got an inventory, but the rest of the barrels do. So you can use those for actual storage. Uh, milk bucket, water bucket, barrels of various kinds of fruits. Um, despite what it looks like, you can actually put things in here. Um, little vase, potatoes, long crates. Uh, these stack very nicely and they give you a decent amount of space. So they're kind of a nice decorative alternative to having just plain chests in your, your storage rooms. And then uh, here's a more decorative chest. Little piles of coins to go along with the uh, ingots. And then a stack of coal with a shovel in the center. Here's a slightly more macabre scene. <laughs> You've got some coffins, skeletons, grave markers, uh, various options on both of these. There's actually more options that I'm showing here for all of these things. Uh, some little pumpkins and a scarecrow, so kind of a Halloween theme. There's a lot of decorative stuff in here too, which doesn't fit into a neat category, but is kind of neat on its own. So here's a little bird fountain, a sword lying on the ground, a knight statue, and then all of these different signs. And I'm showing maybe a third of the signs that are available. So farming and butchers and books and blacksmiths and uh, what is this, bank, all sorts of different options, tons and tons of them, really. Um, they all basically have this structure. It just varies what the actual picture is on the sign. So if you're building some kind of medieval-looking village, you could have pretty much every occupation <laughs> represented and then some. Around the back here, I've got uh, a bunch of other decorative items. So lots of stained glass. This is maybe half of the colors available. I'm pretty sure they've got all the 16 standard colors. Uh, and then lots of these paper um, Japanese lanterns. Uh, I think these are all of the options available, but very, very cool. Next up is this little uh, kind of church scene. Um, you've got pews, which are made of three pieces. So you've got a left, a center, and a right. And then uh, little kneelers in the front there. And um, if you stack them up in just the right way, you get a very convincing little church scene. And then up here, I've got some of the musical instruments. A uh, piano and a harp. Uh, another one of the chairs. There's a whole bunch of different kinds of chairs. I just keep throwing them in different ones. This is called the inception chair for obvious reasons. Uh, a little bit of a lectern here. And uh, yeah, I just made the stage out of wood planks. Here's a little park scene, a little outdoor scene, uh, different kinds of park benches, uh, picnic tables, picnic basket, uh, slide and a swing. There's also a seesaw and a few other things, a little park trash bin, a uh, spinning wheel. There's a whole bunch of outdoorsy kinds of things, hay, hay barrels and carts and uh, all kinds of things. I didn't have room to fit in here, but uh, lots and lots of stuff for outdoor scenes. And finally, we have all of these little patron dolls. So the uh, maker of DecoCraft uh, has a patron account, and if you go and donate, which I strongly encourage you to do, he will make you a little doll to represent your character in the game. So these are all of the different patrons that have uh, donated or continuously donate to making DecoCraft. So uh, go ahead and hit that donation box and um, keep De DecoCraft alive. Um, one of my favorite mods. It is huge. Uh, we've only scratched the surface. I've covered lots and lots of the 
kind of categories of things, but each one of these little vignettes is just a little smattering of the kinds of things that you can get in DecoCraft. So go download it. I include it in absolutely every single mod pack that I create because it has so much great stuff in it. And it's so easy to do. Make your deco bench out of common materials, fill it up with clay and dye, and you've got all of this stuff. So if you like this video, hit like. If you want to see when the next one comes up, hit subscribe, and I will talk to you later.